Saliva testing for COVID-19 may soon become more common in Singapore after it was recently approved as an option for pre-departure tests for travellers to countries which allow it. And it works just like an antigen rapid test using a person's saliva. Well, let's have a look at the test, co-developed by four institutions, including Singapore General Hospital and Duke NUS Medical School. First, the kit actually comes with a receptacle like this to collect the saliva. So what you do is that you just um, stop swallowing your saliva for a few minutes and then pull the saliva in your mouth and then you put the saliva into this uh, receptacle. So after putting the saliva in the receptacle, we use a dropper such as this and take up the liquid part of the saliva and put three drops into uh, channel number one. So in channel number one, it works exactly uh, like a normal test kit where the virus actually binds to red colored gold nanoparticles. So this colors the virus and it travels up to the membrane, the reporting window over here, where if there are two lines, it means that the virus is detected. And if there's only one line at the C region, it means there's no virus detected. After we see the C line on the kit, we initiate the second part of the test, where we use the same sample. We take the, the liquid part of the saliva and then we put three drops into channel number two. So channel number two is our amplification step. What it contains are similar gold nanoparticles, but these actually bind to the gold nanoparticles from the first step. So this actually amplifies the signal that we see at the test line. So even if there's a very low amount of virus in the saliva, this very, very strong signal will still correctly report uh, as two lines instead of one line when the test is done, regardless of the time of the day. Top US scientist Dr. Anthony Fauci says that while the Omicron variant is clearly highly transmissible, early indications suggest it almost certainly is not more severe than Delta. But he caveats this by cautioning that it would take weeks to judge Omicron's severity. Results from lab experiments testing the potency of antibodies from current vaccines against Omicron should come in the next few days to a week. And Dr. Fauci says it's important to not overinterpret the data because the populations being followed skewed young and were less likely to become hospitalized. Severe disease can also take weeks to develop. A potential setback for scientists racing to understand the full impact of Omicron with Australia's Queensland state finding a new Omicron lineage in a traveller who arrived from South Africa. Queensland authorities saying the new lineage has about half the genome mutations of the original and cannot be detected with typical screening. Meanwhile, from tomorrow, all travellers, including those from Singapore, entering Malaysia via the air and land VTLs, the Langkawi International Travel Bubble or the One Stop Centre, need to take COVID-19 tests for six days after arriving. All test results must be reported through the My Sejatera app. Over to South Korea, where daily infections have topped 7,000 for the first time. And the surge in numbers heaps pressure on hospitals, prompting authorities to consider expanding home treatment of COVID-19 patients. Cases skyrocketed this month after the government began to ease restrictions under a so-called living with COVID-19 scheme in November.